and i will also give you the coach feedback okay so let's talk about the power learning which is presentation storytelling how do you use stories in presentation number one where do you think you can use stories when you are doing let's say a proposal presentation or you are having a presentation in front of a group of students or a group of professional where do you think you can use stories please unmute yourself and you can share so haritosh i would like to yeah. add because yeah, yeah. i yeah, like uh, be part of proposal discussions usually uh, where we will be explaining customer their as a state to the to be state that we are uh, proposing right for them yeah. so that there is there i see there is a option that there is a possibility of telling a story to them mm, correct absolutely right whenever you're sharing and and for those of you not from it background a lot of time when you are presenting some idea or or asking customers to buy something you give them a picture of what is the current state of things what is the current solution what is the current landscape and that's where you can instead of just telling okay these are the facts and technologies and and infrastructure platform you basically can tell a story weave the tell weave a story about what is the current state okay where else we can use stories in presentation whenever we do a demo presentation right to mm -hmm. demonstration of product we used to tell what is the problem statement of current it industries or current way of working right and while while we explain how the product is solving that problem that that's where we i see another yes. moment of telling a story yeah absolutely absolutely whenever you are proposing something and what is going to be the impact absolutely okay i want to hear from others as well so sanjay where do you think we can use stories in presentation yeah any kind of presentation if you wanted to highlight some of the major point that we must have to tell story because we want to uh, want uh, better impact on that highlight mm -hmm. so people will encourage about about that and they will uh, carefully listen and they grasp it so this is the my opinion for this very nice very nice awesome awesome elan where where do you think we can use stories in presentations yeah every presentation like you no know, when we explain about any subject we can always use a story which is related to the subject what i'm talking in the presentation which would always like you no know, have the most attention of the audience uh, in fact a couple of days back i have arranged one like induction training for the new joinings i have narrated like you no know, small stories they liked it really very much i was talking about bamboo tree bamboo yes. tree is a tree which doesn't give a result immediately rather it takes about like you no know, 4 years then only after the fourth year it start like you no know, growing and it grows up to 90 feet So like you got to keep learning keep learning the time will come where you can start performing it so learning is important that is example i related to bamboo tree it went on nice. thank you absolutely very nice thank you okay uttam where do you think we can use stories in presentation in i think that in our cross functional discussion or uh, whenever we have a new new initiative like something coming from regulator or something so there we can create a story around how it will benefit the company and or how it will uh, improve internal control internal processes or uh, we can have a story as to what is the current state of affairs and what little bit of little bit of more help or more effort can bring around the change in companies processes or culture i think that is one of the thing other thing that i am being part of the um, uh, finance team so we have to build show them presentation on the business planning side and all so we generally give them a industry landscape like how the other mm -hmm. companies are performing and their various processes numbers balance sheet etc so there also that is the first step so we can Absolutely. keep it as keep it simple and good yeah keep it simple silly very very well said right and as you said and as others also said we can tell a past story we can tell a present story you can also tell a future story which is going to happen if you take certain action you do certain thing this is how it is going to be figured out and i don't know about you guys but i follow a lady called palki sharma she does a lot of videos on youtube and she is basically a journalist but what i love about her way of speaking is that no she is not telling that okay this country attacked this country or this happened this invention happened or or this stock market crash every time she is presenting even a 5 minute presentation 5 minute news 
it's in the we in the we when in the form of a story where she'll at many a time she'll talk about the no what was the history behind something what is happening now and what is the future state looks like so whenever even in the news if you see a lot of good anchors and speakers are actually weaving a story about even if it is a data or even if it is a stock market they're not just telling you okay this is the number that it is it'll give you a background of what was happening what why it was going down and then it goes up a lot of case studies another guy he does a lot of case studies on youtube and his storytelling skills are very very amazing for every complex terminology he will say let me explain through a story and when you go through that two minute story you'll be like yeah now i understand what exactly is meant by debt ratio or what it is meant by upp and any other concept so if these kind of things has got very very practical implications and implementation that you can take awesome so where can you use story the answer is pretty much everywhere but if we have to categorize number one you can start with a story when you start your presentation with a story it gives you your audience a reason to listen to you right so when you're starting with the story they are intrigued and they want to know what exactly is it that you're leading towards uh, for example elen says that about this chinese bamboo tree now when you tell that story then it is very easy for you to set a narrative that you no know, the four years that you invest in a college degree this is how you get the benefit you won't get direct benefit in those four years but after that you'll get a job you'll get a promotion and second thing is when you tell a story you can keep on reinforcing the message throughout your presentation so every time you have something strategic you can say remember the chinese bamboo tree i talked about so that is where you are reinforcing the story and in a way you are reinforcing your message number 2 is you can end with a story one of the best ways to end a presentation is also with a story where your audience member generally remembers the first and the last part of your presentation and it has been proven by research they may not remember the in between but the way you start and the way you end is remembered by the audience more so that is why if you end with a story which is a relevant contextual story it is highly likely that they will remember the point that you are conveying and this is also called something called call back mechanism and what do i mean by call back mechanism is sometime you have a story at the start and you will see at in various no motivational speakers and sometime in web series also they'll start with a story but they will not finish the story they will finish the story towards the end and that's how they will loop back or they will connect the start to the end so this is what is called a call back mechanism where you're calling from the end the first part of it the third which is very obvious is you can include stories throughout and there are some very very important aspect when it when it comes to one is called tell a story make a point if you are telling a story make sure that you are having a take away or a message i always call that think about the take away message for the audience what is it the one message that you want them to take after you have told the stories because if you're not making a point for them then they will make out point for themselves and that may not be the point that you want to tell so always make a point number 2 is don't overload also with too many stories sometimes if you're adding too many stories people think that you don't have anything else to say you're only telling story now as a storytelling coach it may seem like you no know, contradictory to what i am what i teach but it actually is not it is all about having the right number of stories as well so how do you define what is the right is typically for a 5 to 10 minute speech you got to have one good stories if you have a one good stories it can make an impact versus having five stories which is not related not contextual and and going here and there it is not going to look good on you and the third thing is you got to include other factors as well for example the data the evidence that will make your content or presentation more you no know, more build more gravity and authority to it if you just tell stories which is great way for them to understand but if you don't have a evidence then they may or may not agree to you and i'll tell you one example of what happened in this community itself so uh, john is not joining today uh, but a few weeks back i was taking a session and uh, i said that no we 
we have been known to be a story listener and speaker since the time humans evolve and he said that with due respect you don't have any proof and at that time i was kind of shaken back because there must be a proof but because i had not given a data or proof it it seems like that you no know, my point was hollow so i went back to the board i started doing research and i found this place uh, let me see if i have that browser open if i know if i don't have then i'll probably show it in next time i don't think i have it open but the, i went ahead and did a little bit of research and found that there are craving there are mountain cravings which are 30 years back 30000 years back in which there are depiction of people speaking and and others people around that and that is sort of a proof which is that at least stories are 30000 years old now when i tell you that it is giving you evidence or proof that yes stories were there for uh, there for humans for a really really long time so only stories may not get your point across you also got to have the right data right evidence as well so this is where when you are presenting you got to have the relevant data as well so now i want to share a few tips for you to deliver the stories so the first tip is just like i i said earlier it's a skill which means that you got to practice practice and practice there is no shortcut to it you have to practice you got to own your story that's where you will get it better and the more you practice frequently it will be better versus one day you you can't go to gym and say okay i'm going to do the exercise for 10 hours and then you don't do anything for two months nothing is going to change or you might actually fall sick but if you go to gym every day for 30 minutes it's going to build up the muscle similarly storytelling you also need to start doing it every alternate day or every day that's where it will get better and you don't need to have big bang stories even if you're including one or two stories every day maybe talking to a colleague maybe you know sharing with family maybe coming to the community and sharing as part of storyteller's gym it makes it better number 2 don't do run away storytelling which is and i have seen that happen a lot of time what happens is a lot of us actually crave for an audience and the moment we get an audience and i don't want to take a name but i've seen a few community members here itself when they get the stay they will keep on telling and keep on stretching the point beyond what is required and what happens is if you do that it's actually going to decrease the value of your story so it has to have the appropriate time if it is a 5 minute story don't make it 10 minute story keep it 4 minute or keep it 5 minute the the crisp you make the better it will be those of you who attended alma session and elen is part of the community alma also says that you got to make it tight the tighter it will be the the bigger the impact would be now the third thing is stay in the moment what happens is we need to relive the story the best way to bring out the emotion the best way to get the authentic expression is by reliving the story you want to go through what happened frame by frame bringing the wax which is the visual auditory kinesthetic as well as smell portion of it to really build the scene when you do that that's when you're not telling a story you are actually building a scene for your audience to go through it so that means that you need to start including vivid imaginary imagery whenever you're speaking number one bring on the energy you got to be a sometime bit larger than life sometime you have to speak up even if you're not feeling feeling comfortable or confident when you just start speaking up right who okay answer me who speaks in the loud noise somebody who's con- over confident or under confident unmute unmute guys you are on mute over confident over confident so so what is the secret you want a 30 second or even not 30 second 5 second secret to having confidence big voice <laughs> speak louder Practice. yes speak louder when you speak louder come on everybody let's unmute ourselves and let's say let us speak louder and clear let us speak louder let us let us speak clear and louder yeah. now how many of you are feeling actually very low that now that we spoke louder i am feeling under confident probably none of you right and if you remember the great speakers when you listen 
they're actually sometimes screaming screaming on top of their voice as i'm not asking you to scream on top of your voice you will hurt your vocal cord but practice speaking every time you meet I'll, I'll, i want all of you to do this experiment right and i've done it myself many many times that when you go to next meeting somebody don't do it with your seniors or boss or others but with your colleague or sometime your super, some sometime your subordinates that no next time you go and meet say no say hi sanjay instead of saying hi sanjay just just low increase your volume by 50% say hi sanjay and see their reaction and be like what happened to you what did you have <laughs> right this is what happens when you bring energy right so any time you are having a presentation instead of just saying hey good morning guys yeah this and that i hope you get it just say hello everyone are you excited for this presentation you can see people's voice first of all they will get surprised if they are not used to it and you 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 get to have the fun but then you will see their engagement also go up so how many of you are actually going to do this experiment in next one week or so and do share your story in the in the group i want to hear those stories of how these small things are impacting your communication actually haritosh i would like to yes. add a couple of things over here because we were the victims okay i don't want to take a name or so whenever we go to a particular person's meeting she'll be starting like hey team how are you We're like we will be like all the team members will be drenched like going down even we were like active then slowly we had to so we had to change that like we had to tell to her or so something then it slowly got changed and yeah. literally we you know like whenever we somebody started the meeting with a low note it's like energy sucking so we can't change others but we can certainly change ourselves first so when you go to the next meeting you start with high energy even if it is going with small low energy you start with high energy hey guys so what's going on so much fun now don't do it don't make it like a fake one people are like why are you doing but that's why i said 50% is a good range for you to go it is like if you go from 3x 5x people are like okay this guy has gone crazy stay away so don't do that but just a little bit more energy because it brings warmth every time you are talking to somebody on whatsapp or phone or meeting in person right instead of just saying hello how are you just show the warm and it you will feel the energy just like we just felt in this even though we are so much away from different places we could feel the energy among ourselves agree everyone awesome so this is what i want all of you to do that whenever you go to a session bring the energy bit little bit larger than in life intensify your voice and facial expression now, it's not easy and we as humans are not natural vocal variation expert or facial expression expert but let me tell you one more example which will re- really make a difference uh, all of us many of us have kids right and when you talk to the kids especially when they have done something in the school or coming back just start observing their voice and facial expression like many a times when i bring my daughter from school to say daddy do you know what happened today and like what happened today and then she'll tell a story so i'm not very much interested in what exactly happened but when you start observing this kids are an amazing communicator we just have to open our eyes and ears and as storytelling antenna to see that you no know, how people are some people are very natural when they speak automatically their hands will move their vocal variation will go but for rest of us who are not natural we can at least start observing when you start observing that's when you'll start making sudden changes not sudden but certain changes to your way of speaking or your projections or your your body language your vocal variation so just try it out observe especially the kids when they are excited how they are speaking and then see how you can use that in certain situations making sense everyone getting some practical advices today awesome now let's move on to the second last one which is vocal variation we all i think there is two are vocal variation and body language but see remember you can say the same thing in different ways and i think i did this session yeah in, in one of the story thons i did so i'll i'll do this again i'm going to speak one sentence and i want you to tell me what did you what do you infer by that sentence 
right so everybody understood i am going to say the same sentence in four or five different ways and i want you to uh, say what did you observe right so the the sentence is called and i'll write it in the chat i saw a blue elephant so this is the sentence that i'm going to use and the first way is i saw a blue elephant that's number 1 number 2 i saw a blue elephant number 3 i saw blue elephant number 4 i saw a blue elephant and number 5 i saw a blue elephant now what do you think was changed what what did you infer from the first sentence i was the emphasized one so correct. intensity on i was high correct, correct. So, so it was me yes yeah, it was, so it was me it was not gayatri or uttam or sanjay who saw the elephant okay let's hear from uttam so what was the second sentence leading you to and i'll repeat you, you didn't catch it then i'll repeat i saw a blue elephant so the the emphasis saw. on the saw right so you, i, I didn't yes yes i i saw the elephant i didn't feel it i didn't heard about the elephant going i just saw that's one of the sensory things okay third sentence so elan what was the emphasis i saw blue elephant one elephant elephant exactly yes. one elephant not a number one. of elephant it was one, one elephant. elephant okay one. sanjay i saw a blue elephant what is the emphasis on the color yes it was a blue one not a white not a red it was a blue and let's see rajesh if you are able to unmute i saw a blue elephant or alka are you are you able to unmute then you can share yeah you need to unmute yeah yeah i missed something what's the question the question is what do you observe in the sentence the way i'm speaking so i'm saying i saw a blue elephant it's about the emphasis and and how do you infer that sentence so obviously there are no blue elephants so it catches your eye it catches your attention and you get hooked okay, on that to that means you were not paying attention <laughs> we understand <laughs> uh, yeah so we were talking about the emphasis so the the in this sentence okay who wants to answer let's see who else was listening to it who wants to answer okay elan rose the hand first so go ahead elan emphasis on elephant yes so i saw a blue elephant not a blue horse not a blue duck not a blue sky elephant. correct so this is how you can change you think about some of the sentences that you speak are you putting the right emphasis on the right part sometimes because we are programmed to say in the same monotone we are not putting the emphasis on the right part of the sentence and that can actually lead to less sales i mean this might be far fetched but this is true if you can emphasize on the right portion of the sentence on the right words it can actually change people's perception about you so that is why focus on just like yeah now alga ji we paying more attention because we talked about that but yeah jokes apart you need to punch up by emphasizing on the right keywords and you can raise and lower your volume at different places based on the context and you can speed up and slow down based on what you're speaking and the last part is the body language that includes your facial expression your hand gestures and your stage movement as well these are big topics we are not going to cover all of that today because we are already you know 1 hour 15 minute into the session and i don't want to take away a lot of time so let me do one thing i am going to actually take a screenshot of all of this and put it in the group so that if you want to refer you can refer that in the meanwhile what i want any of you have a story that you want to share with the group uh, put your name in the chat so that we can take that all right 